Hello everyone, Teacher Kristen here with Life with Kristen. In today's video, I'm going to show you a few things for your toddler's communication by using pots and pans. Let's get started. Using pots and pans is a great way to introduce pretend play with you and your toddler. This is going to be another output of learning more communication, engaging in conversational communication, and just building that repertoire of articulation and language skills. Today, we're going to focus a little more on pretend play. First, you will want to get a simple pot and pan or pan from your kitchen, a play spoon to pretend like you are cooking. Another thing you will need is some play foods. Now, if you don't have any play food, don't worry. I can put in a link below in the description box of where uh, I purchased my play foods, which was on Amazon, and um, feel free to check that out. Woody and I are going to pretend to cook today. <laughs> so let's get started. Here, Woody. Let's cook. Hmm. What do we need to go into our pot first? Think we need to decide what we're going to cook, Mom. Hmm. You're right, Woody. What should we cook? What should we cook, guys? Hmm. I know, Woody. Let's make vegetable soup. Sounds like a winner. Okay, so here we go. Woody is going to help us by holding the pot. As you're putting food items into the pot, you can have your child repeat them or ask them the question, Woody, what is this? Carrot, Mom. It's a carrot. Okay, let's put it in the pot. We must cook our food. We can keep going by adding the different vegetables. Tomato, broccoli, corn, onions, and we need some meat in this pot. So what kind of meat do you want, Woody? I want chicken. Okay, let's get some chicken and put it in the pot. See? You're communicating and creating a dialogue while teaching vocabulary, so the naming of objects. You're also teaching prepositions, you know, put it in the pot. You're also working on answering questions, which is a big thing to learn with littles. What do we need to put in our pot? We need vegetables or we need meat. A second thing you could do along with pretend play while using pots and or pans is following directions, which we've already kind of touched on that. So put them in the pot. What is the next thing we do? We need to put the lid on the pot. Now we have to wait. Hmm. Again, as in my other previous videos of this series, we're talking about repetition, pretend play, and I'm also introducing sequencing. Sequencing is a good language skill to learn. It can also carry over into books when you're reading to your child, you know? So, for example, what do we need first to cook? We need a pot, then we need a spoon. After you get the pot, you put your food in, and next you put the lid on, 
And lastly, we cook. Cook. We have already introduced a few strategies and techniques. Repetition by repeating the word of what you're putting in the pot. Pretend play, pretending to cook in the pot. And thirdly, sequencing. What do we do first, next, and last? These are all important things to teach our children and our toddlers. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, sequencing is kind of advanced for a toddler. Maybe, but you can always back it down a little bit. And that, that goes back to following directions. So you could say, first, put the onion in the pot. Next, put the pepper in the pot. You're giving them the simple directions of what to put in and when and in what order to do it in. We're going to pull Woody back out because our soup is done. Hi Woody! Hello Mom! Woody, what must we do now that our soup is cooked? We have to put it in a bowl. You're right, Woody. Let's put it in a bowl. That is what we will do next. So you see, we have offered that repetition by saying next a couple of times. And now we are going to pretend to serve our, our soup by putting it all in a bowl. Woody. What is the last thing we do when we have supper? We get a dessert! Mmm, dessert. That's a new word. What is a dessert? A cinnamon roll or an ice cream. Woody, which dessert would you like? Hmm, I want an ice cream sandwich. Great choice, Woody! Nom 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 nom. So you see, we're pretending again while asking questions, having their your ch child or your toddler answer the question, and then they get to pretend play by feeding Woody the ice cream. Another sequencing thing that you could do with pots and pans is hmm, how do we build a hamburger? First, we need a bun. Second, we need a hamburger patty. Then, we need lettuce. introducing all of these words, hold those pieces close to your mouth. That way your child is seeing visually what the object is while you are telling them what it is. And then they can see the pronunciation and the production of those words at the same time. Now we need a tomato. Then we need some cheese. And lastly, to finish our hamburger, we need another part of the bun. And it goes on top. Now we have made a hamburger. Let's pretend to eat our hamburger. Woody is very hungry. Yum! Mmm! I am so full. Off to nap time. Bye. The most important thing I can stress to you is to play. Just play with your children. Pretend play, repetition, sequencing. They're all important and they can all be done with a simple pot and pan and a spoon. I hope you've enjoyed this video in learning how to help your toddler communicate while using pots and pans. And 
the spoon. If you enjoyed this video and it has inspired you, please feel free to leave a comment below and subscribe and watch my other videos in this short series entitled Let's Play. My name is Teacher Kristen with lifewithkristen.com and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye!